Welcome to a Fiber Collective YouTube channel. My name's Claire. I am a knitter and knitwear designer living in the rural high desert of Southeast Idaho. I live with my other half, my son, and our dog Jube. This channel covers a lot of knitting related topics. We go over what I'm currently working on, recent FOs. We also go over tips, tricks, tutorials, and subscription box unboxings. Today's episode is going to be all about the Fiber Collective Fiber Exchange. You all know here at a Fiber Collective, one of our biggest things is supporting small business, and that is what we absolutely love to do. We love to support small American-based small businesses. Um, we send our subscription boxes out every other month and they are filled with yarn and usually two to three small bits. We just, we love sending yarn boxes. It's what we do here. But this time you're in charge. So a fiber exchange is where you are paired with a partner and you will send each other boxes filled with yarn or fiber. And this is gonna be about a 200 gram, seven ounce, requirement and then if you want to add on and expand and just fill it with goodies then you're absolutely more than welcome to. This is open to everyone. This is a worldwide project. Sorry, I'm going to try to stop talking with my hands. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is a worldwide project and I'm extremely excited about it. So we're going to just see what happens. If you are a knitter or a crocheter, a spinner or a weaver, you are more than welcome to join. We do have a few requirements. Um, those will be listed. There's going to be a link in the description box below that will send you to the main page that has all of the basic Q and A's. Um, if there's obviously anything beyond that, that you're curious about, then feel free to ask below or send me a message or an email but this is open to everyone. This is a yarn or fiber exchange. The cost is $7, seven US dollars to join, register, sign up, whatever you want to call it. Um, but that covers my time, lost mail, or unfortunately in previous exchanges, swaps, People don't send packages and it's a really, really sad thing to happen, but the other person should still receive a box and that's where I'm going to have to come in and fill the box and ship it, be it domestically or internationally. In the form, you are going to have a few questions prompted and it's basically asking what your preferences are. Or do you prefer to ship domestic? Would you prefer an international partner? Do you care to have either or? Um, what's your craft? Are you a knitter? Are you a crocheter? Are you a spinner or a weaver? And these are great things that will help get the conversation started and then help me pair you with your partner. Registration, I probably should have opened with this, opens February 3rd. That is about two weeks out from where we are now. It's a little longer than, but depending on when I actually get this video uploaded, it could be about two weeks. So February 3rd is the day that registration is going to open to you guys. You will fill out a form, you will include your payment of the registration fee, and then from there, I will start picking your partners. Registration closes February 10th. Partner picking, should be done by February 17th and you should have an email from me with your partner and their contact information. I don't need private information like your addresses. This is going to be um, basically limited to your email address and your Instagram. So Instagram is a part of this requirement and I have several reasons for it. And I was told by somebody that it could be a deterrent, but it also helps vet the system. Not only does it give two ways to communicate, some people don't get their emails or it goes to spam and so you have to kind of poke and prod and do a little digging on Instagram. And I think it's great to have those two avenues open in case somebody doesn't answer their emails or spam, your junk mail eats everything. Instagram also kind of gives you a little bit of highlights into people's lives. This shows their aesthetics and what they like. It can tell you whether or not they have children or they have fur babies. And 
maybe they like to garden so you could send a pack of seeds along with your yarn or fiber um just little things like that and i think it's just really insightful to your partner's lives in not a very creepy manner but you know what i mean shipping deadlines are going to be march 24th so you're going to have about five weeks to start picking your items and then putting them in a box so shipping deadline for international is march 24th and the shipping deadline for domestic partnerships is may or sorry march 31st so you'll have five to six weeks to put your package together put it in the mail and send it on its way i hope in that time you and your partner will communicate and you will build a friendship some people don't like to talk as much as others um, you guys probably know that already if you saw episode one, um, but I think it's, it's a vital part of the community. Even if it's just a little bit of communication, you can do it. Stick your neck out there and create a friendship. I was speaking to a, an Instagram friend that we speak pretty regularly and she told me that on a swap that she did, um, she was actually paired with a local partner and they were able to get together and have coffee and knitting dates, which I think is the coolest thing. So maybe you'll be fortunate enough to be able to do something like that too. The bigger aspect of this is the small business support. So AFC Fiber Exchange is doing a small business partnership that is absolutely free of cost. It, it, just takes a little bit of time to fill out another form on your end. Basically what will happen is we will have a set of coupon codes available during the time that after the partners are paired. So when we're shopping and building our boxes, the small businesses who choose to partner with a fiber collective will offer a set coupon code and they will go on a page on the website that will show where they're from, it will give their Instagram information, their website information, and what kind of discount they are offering. Um, this is also worldwide and again, free of cost. If you're a small business owner, if you're a yarn shop, if you do notions or accessories or yarn, you are more than welcome to fill out the form and send it my way. It just takes a little bit of my time and a little bit of your time, but you will be put on a page with the other small businesses who choose to be a part of this and maybe you'll gain some business from it. This is also my way of helping international brands. Shipping is, shipping's insane lately. I have a friend or I guess a customer from Australia who is buying the subscription boxes and she and I were chatting about it, but it's like international shipping sucks. So with that said, putting your name on the website draws traffic. And if you happen to have people who can afford to pay for international shipping, or you have um, participants who are within your country, then that benefits the both of you. So I'm hoping name drops go a long way. We're going to link to the information directly in the box below, but if you have questions or answer, not, you probably don't have the answers, but if you have questions that I haven't answered, again, feel free to leave a comment below or send me an email and I'll have that information as well. Um, and I'll do my best to get those answered. I think that pretty much covers the yarn exchange. I'm really excited about it. I'm hopeful. I'm scared. This, this is one of those nerve things that were at the top of releasing my first podcast. And if you watch that first podcast, you understand where I'm coming from. Um, but I thought this would be also a great revenue avenue to share this information and hope it goes a little bit further since the gram is still a little limited. Fingers crossed. Um, very excited about this project. I have a couple of cheerleaders who are hands down like crazy excited about it and really look forward to participating. And I'm hoping that there's other people like you who want to participate as well. I don't think there should ever be any shortage of fiber friends 
or yarn and fiber exchanges ever. Again, it's what we do. That's what I enjoy doing and we're just gonna keep spitting them out because the world needs more of it. Later this week, we will be dropping another video with um, a pattern release and some blocking information because I posted on Instagram about blocking wire and people had no idea what they were. And that's okay because I didn't know what they were either, but they are now my favorite blocking tool for long straight edge things. Um, this is the Rock River scarf. It will be released later this week. And again, I will drop an episode in the next few days with all that information um, because you'll probably ask sweater time. This is my 11 acre sweater. I think I designed it the year before last. So that would be 2021 20, because we're in 23, 2021. Um, this is knit in my home DK base. This is a, I shouldn't say, Ottoman indigo fibers. Sorry. Um, my home DK base. This is spun and milled at Bat and Kill Fibers in New York. Um, MJ is an absolute gem. We don't have a lot of yarn in stock on ottomanindigo.com, but there is a select few colors. I think there's like three colors right now. So if you want some, um, you can absolutely get your hands on a few skeins. Tune in in the next few days, and if you're a subscriber, then watch for that notification. If you haven't subscribed, please sus subscribe below. Um, we really appreciate every single like and comment that you make on this channel. It has really done, it's done a lot for us. So keep them coming. I appreciate you being here, and until next time, 